the guy who makes random tier list back today with another random one. We're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, different versions of him over the years. Versions from not only video games, TV slash movie adaptations, and also just some really weird drawings in here. We're going to go ahead and rank these on a scale of S to D tier. C tier being about the average, and we will definitely add an F tier if we need to. If you like completely random tier lists, usually I do stuff a little more structured than this, but, uh, you know, random is, is in the name after all. Uh, consider subscribing if you like this kind of thing. We're going to go ahead and get started with this Sonic, which reminds me of the Sonic from Sonic uh, Heroes, but I don't know. I have not played all the Sonic games. I played Sonic Heroes. I played Adventure Battle 2. played some other ones. This Sonic looks pretty classic to me. I'd say A tier. This Sonic big old boots on him might be from Sonic Adventure Battle. I remember him having some big boots in that that let him do some bounces and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hit, say B tier on it. Um, this one, not as good, for sure. A little more low res, kind of a worse version of this. Going to say C tier. Now, this one I do remember. This is the logo from Sonic Adventure Battle 2, or from Sonic Adventure 2, I, I suppose. Probably from Sonic Adventure 1 as well. This one, I'd say B tier. Uh, obviously, more of a logo design than a realistic looking Sonic. This here, one of the more classic looking Sonics with the spiky hair. Going to say A tier on that. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and zoom in our pictures so we can see these a little bit better here. Hopefully that is a little bit better for us. Here we have a Sonic that I really don't like. Long-legged Sonic. Looks, I don't know if they're trying to be realistic here. It just looks kind of weird. This Sonic, obviously a great drawing, a great adaptation representation here. Going to say B tier for the effort. Lots of effort was made on this. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Sometimes that's what you have to say to kids. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Classic, classic Sonic here. A tier for me. Might be S. Might be S. Probably the best one we've seen so far. Uh, Modern Day Sonic doesn't look as, as much like that, but still looking good. Uh, this Sonic, more of a classic design, but his posture is just a little odd. I don't really care for it. His shoes look very small in this. Gonna say C tier. Not as good. Another classic look at Sonic. I'm not sure which one. I've definitely played the original Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3. Well, 1, 2, and 3, that is. Uh, but I'm not sure which one is which. This one, though, going to say A tier. In fact, let's go ahead. We're going to make the plunge. We're going to put him into S tier. Our first entry into S tier is this classic looking Sonic with the shadow behind him. Nice realism there, I guess. Um, first one we've seen that actually has a shadow, I suppose. Well, I guess this one does. All right. We have a drawn version of Sonic, kind of that, that original shorter design. Um, but definitely looks drawn. This is a good drawing. I'm going to say a B tier for sure. Um, I, I just wish the blue was a little more vibrant. That would have gotten it into an A tier for me. Now this is from Sonic Heroes. I recognize this now. So from Sonic Heroes we have, well, Sonic obviously. His shoes were really, really big in this game. I didn't really care for how he looked in the game. But the way that Sonic Heroes worked is you would have a three-person team and there was a fast character on your team. Like every team had one. So Sonic being that, obviously, he was the fast character. So him being a shorter stature worked with the mechanics of that game where most of the fast characters were about this height. Uh, so that makes sense, but C tier. Uh, this Sonic waving at me here, I'd say B tier. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to get into some of this. Some of these are not official media. So, you know, just looking at that. This Sonic looks deranged. I don't like it. This Sonic also looks like it's from Heroes, but um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this one's from Heroes. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong. Uh, this Sonic I really like. I think this is one of the more modern takes on Sonic from the video games. And even just kind of cheating, looking ahead to the ones we have left, I think this one is probably going to go into S tier. Um, classic look for him. Doesn't have the... I don't... I can't really put my finger on what's different between these two, for example. Uh, but I do think that this one is better. Uh, something's just about it is better. All right, we have the hyper-realistic Sonics from the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. Um, obviously, these movies got a lot of flack when the trailer first came out that Sonic looked way too humanoid and not like a hedgehog, la not cartoony at all. Um, and it actually got taken taken back. The movie got pushed back, and they changed it. Uh, first time I can really think about that happening with a uh, major motion picture like that. So D tier on the original Sonic designs. And on the redone design, I'm actually going to say B tier. Um, they, they fixed a lot of the issues with it, made them a more son a classic Sonic look. going to say B tier. I think that's pretty cool. We have a drawn uh, 
artistic rendition here of Sonic. Gonna say C tier, not bad by any means, um, but just not that vibrant blue that I think of when I think of Sonic. Another drawing here, this one also gonna be C tier. Um, I just prefer drawings that are a little darker shaded in. Obviously this is a fantastic drawing, better than this one. Um, you know, the drawings are definitely gonna be subjective though. I don't know what this is, but it's horrible. And I think now we have warranted the need for an F tier. And if you've never used Tier Maker before, that is how you make an F tier. And if we're going to put that down there, we should probably go ahead and add these two from the movie. One of these might not actually... This is from the original trailer. I'm not sure what this is from, if it's just from other media for the movie, um, or if it's a different rendition, a different design that somebody made. I'm not sure of here. Both of them, though. Maybe this was the better version of this. I, I don't know. They're both F tier. They're, they're not good. They're not good. With uh, the addition of a new tier, we can also make some adjust adjustments here. We'll move that one down to C tier, let's be honest with it, and we'll move that one down to D tier. It's a very good drawing. I just, it's not what I think of when I, it is a good Sonic drawing though. Should we just put this one down? Should we just stop joking and put that one down? This Sonic I actually don't like. Uh, his stomach looks incredibly round, which I guess it is in a lot of his appearances. But this one just stands out for some reason. Um, I don't like how short his hair is. It's not very spiky. Looks a lot more spiky in like these pictures. Um, so yeah, this one D tier, I'm going to say. This is Nightmare Fuel. This is Sonic from something. I think it was a Sonic me made in, you know, uh, on the Wii or something. F tier, though. It is Nightmare Fuel. This Sonic, I'm not a fan of the hyper-realistic face, personally. Um, it's also black and white, which... You know, it's the drawing was designed that way, but uh, the hyper-realistic face is kind of freaking me out a little bit. We have a Sonic. I think this is from Sonic Riders, is it? I don't know. He has he has the goggles on. I think that was a thing at Sonic Riders. Um, more of an artistic look at him here. Almost maybe a comic design for him. I'm going to say C tier. It's not bad by any means. This one here, uh, another Sonic running pose. This one, the shading is definitely less hard lines on it, more of just colors blending together, and I think that works really, really well. B tier. Classic Sonic look here. Looks like a drawing to me. Can't really tell, though. Gonna say A tier. I think that's a really good one. This is Sonic, I believe, from the Sonic uh, video game, is it? No, not video game. This is from the Sonic TV show. And this, when I think of Sonic, is one of the classic Sonic looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in S tier as well. This is from the old TV show, I think. So it's not bad. I'd say A tier. And then this, I'm trying to figure out, this isn't Metal Sonic, but it definitely looks robotic in appearance. Very, very shiny. I'm going to say D tier. It just it looks like a, like a mech, like a, a robot, and I'm not sure that it's supposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Guys, what do you think? These Sonic ones, do any of them stand out to you as a classic-looking Sonic? Or you think some of the art is just fantastic and really just should be higher up? Let me know what you think. Let me know what I should do next, whether it be Sonic video games or absolutely anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays if you're watching at the time, and have a great day.